Hi, good to see you again. It's Graham Martin. I'm the recruitment guy with another five minute careers interview. We're here with a friend of mine, Kevin May. Kevin, thank you for your Graham. time. Good to see you. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good. So, as you can see, Kevin's got a cab, a black cab, a London black cab. Now, in fact, there are black cabs not only in London, I think they're in Liverpool, Manchester, and uh, Scotland, oh, Glasgow, indeed. and Edinburgh. Yep. However, the London black cabbie is the world's number one cab driver. Right is that right? That is indeed. Now, we've known each other for about 20 years, but um, you haven't always been a cabbie, have you? No, I started off my working life as a plumber. Yeah. Done the apprentice, apprenticeship as a plumber. Uh, then went into the post office, uh, set up my own little cleaning company, but the black cab... It beckoned, did it? It did indeed. So how long have you been a black cab driver? Uh, nine years now. Nine years? Wow, nine years. I can't believe that. And I guess in that period of time you've got lots of stories, some of which you can't publish or, or talk about. Indeed. So, <laughs> so tell me, how long does it take to become a black cab driver? I know you can't just go and rent and buy a cab and go and do it. You, you've got to get a license. You have to go for a thing called the knowledge. The knowledge. Um, which takes an average of about four years to, to complete. Uh, it's a long slog, um, but it's well worth it. And you say it's a long slog. I've seen people out on scooters and mopeds with clipboards taped to the front of their handlebars. They're out learning the routes. Is that in, right? In all weathers, learning 320 routes of the Blue Book, which is the um, integral part of the knowledge. And they'll be out learning all the runs, all the hotels, restaurants, police stations, any point of information in London. And you said it took you four years, but you know, before we talked off camera, you said that a very, very small percentage actually passed. What is that percentage on average? About 5%, they say, passes the knowledge. So 95% of people fail or, or, or what they should do? Just give up. Give up. The yeah. only way of failing the knowledge is by giving up the knowledge. So, ha so do you know by any chance what was the longest time somebody took to pass the knowledge? I know someone who's still on the knowledge, been doing it for nine years. Wow. So they really want to do it, don't they? They definitely want to do it. So what is it about being a black cab driver that is, is so so appealing to somebody like yourself? Um, working for yourself, being your own boss, um, working the hours that you want. Um, it's it's a great job. It's a lonely job. Um, 15 minute friends, I say. You never see yeah. the same person twice. Um, but it's you can't come and go as you please. You work the hours that suit you. And what's the best bit about the job? Exactly that, working when it, when it suits you. So I know you like playing golf, don't you? If the sun's shining, I'm golf. You're off playing golf. Good job, it's a cloudy day today. <laughs> and what's the worst bit of the job? The general public. They can be quite nasty at times. They always know, know best, but they're few and far between. 99% of the people are spot on. And we always ask black cab drivers, who have you had in your cab that's famous? So have you had anybody that's famous in your my, cab? My most famous person and my favourite singer of all time is Noel Gallagher. Oh, from Oasis? From Oasis, yeah. yeah. He's a lovely fella. That's nice to know. Yeah. Was he mad for it? He's mad for mad it. Mad for it. <laughs> so the, the big question always when we do these interviews is, and I'm not going to talk about you because of course the tax man might be watching, or your wife, but what can a good black cab driver earn today if he's out and he's, he's qualified and he's, he's If you're working and you put the hours in, £30,000 a year. And what's the most somebody can earn if they're really working all the hours that you could possibly do? If you've got no family and you don't want a life, probably about 75,000. Wow, so big money. So 30 to 75,000 pounds, but you need to put in maybe four years' work to actually do the knowledge in the first okay. place, yeah? yeah? And you've got to do that weekends, evenings, because you've got to support yourself in the meantime. Every spare time, even when you're not out on your bike, you're learning the runs at home, you're calling over with partners, so hard work. You live by the blue book for four years. So you need to have some of your own supportive friends, family. Yep, yep. And it's always good if you can find someone else to do the knowledge with. Oh, you buddy up with someone. Buddy up with someone. Now, I know there's different ways of getting into cab. Once you've actually passed, you've got your qualification, you, 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 you've got your, your, your badge. Show us your badge, actually. Don't you? So this is what we go That's for. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So you can buy, you can rent, you can hire. What's the story with using a cab? In the way of... Well, you, you said you didn't buy this, did you? No, I rent this. Yep. Um, you can rent, you can buy your own taxi. I prefer to rent. Um, my rental includes the insurance, the maintenance. The only thing I have to put in here is the hours and, of course, the diesel. Um, and some people share them, don't they? Some you, people you buy can them. Cab them share. Yeah, yeah. Um, I prefer to rent. Um, and cab sharing is okay if you're setting with... You set hours, right? Yeah, but I like to work when when you want to when, work, when you want to play me. golf. Exactly. So, if somebody wants to learn more about becoming a cabbie, they want to apply it to to learn the knowledge. Who should they go to? Where should they go to? Uh, in London, this is the public carriage office. Uh, they're in London, just off Blackfriars Road. 
that's where all the exams are taken as well, and you'd have your first initial talk yep. at the carriage office, and go from there. Good stuff. Well, that's really good to see you. Thank you for your time. I know you're off to play golf now, really, aren't you? I am indeed. So you're not doing any work today, but thank you. Unless you need a lift anywhere, Graham. I might just do that. So there you go. Graham Martin, the recruitment guy, with Kevin, the black cap driver. Hope you find it interesting. Bye for now.